cocky or anything, but hula hooping was my thing back in the day. I was the hula hooping champion at every birthday party I ever went to. So Cassandra here is going to show me not only how fun hula hooping is, but the fitness benefit of it and give us a great workout. So we're going to start with some on body hooping. Okay. You're going to take the hoop and place it around your waist. With a strong push, you're going to push the hoop in a direction that feels comfortable for you and we're gonna be rocking back and forth. We recommend waist hooping or on body hooping for approximately 10 to 20 minutes. In exercise one, Cassandra recommends to do some arm movements. Not only does it make you feel free, but the whole time your arms are moving, remember, you're burning calories and getting an awesome workout. So in exercise two, we're gonna take our toes out, turn our feet out, and we're gonna take our knees directly over our toes, down, and then come back up. Woo, there you go, you got it, good, good recovery. Bring it down and come back up. This is allowing us to bring some benefits to our quads, our hamstrings, and our glutes. So to make exercise two a little bit more challenging, you can hold your squats probably three or four seconds, stay down, again, you can use your arms to make it even more challenging. So the next exercise for exercise three, we're gonna take the hoop off the body. And you're gonna start by holding the hoop so your palm is facing up. You're going to close your fingers around and you're going to start it forward and down to the opposite side of you and let it come back. And you're swinging the hoop back and forth. This is great for your shoulders, your deltoids, your triceps. And in a moment, we're going to switch hands. So bring the hoop down, bring it over to your non-dominant hand. Exercise three happens to be my favorite. Not only is this the most fun for me, but I'm feeling it in my triceps, in my biceps, and really using my core to control my arm movement. Exercise four is an introduction to something that we call an isolation. And you're gonna strongly hold your hula hoop at the bottom. Bring your hand in a slow, fluid motion up to nine o'clock, and then back down to six o'clock, and again, smoothly over in the opposite direction to three o'clock. You want the hoop to stay hanging in the air almost as if by magic. So you're holding this hoop, you're gripping it very strongly. I'm finishing out my hooping workout with the isolations. I'm really feeling it on my triceps when I go up to three o'clock. Who would ever think that a simple hula hoop can give you such a good workout? To make it more fun, add some music, get those hips going, get those arms moving. And remember, these are cheap and your fitness can't put a price on that. No dollar can buy you good fitness. Remember to connect with us. I'm Brittany Cascone for KTV. Next challenge, you're going to time me for an hour and I'm going to go.